Temple of Oblena. It looked as if its glorious days were very much in the past. The roots from before crawled all over the place. Surely of evil origin. Yeah. <laughs> 
The legends say that the temples were the places where mortals could talk with the elders. But people stopped making their offerings, and many of the temples were abandoned. In turn, the Elder Protectors chose to leave humanity to their own devices. But Galland had a quest, a pact with them he had no intention of breaking. At that moment, a blast of wind shook Galland, and he realized that this had to be the source of Malira's power. your heart, kid, and it's not what I would call kind. Why do you think I cursed you? You loafer! Those statues just told you a bunch of lies. The truth is that I'm the only one who can lift the curse. Prepare to meet your maker. <laughs> Ah, uh -huh. yeah! <laughs> 
me. But why? Because not everyone gets a second chance. But everybody deserves one. You gave it to me when you cursed me. Because without it, I wouldn't have understood how wonderful life is. And how I was squandering my time. So now, I'm giving it to you. Now I understand everything. My thirst for power took me to dark places. I'm sorry. Your shield. It won't hold for much longer. Touch my staff. I'll get you out of here. Wait. Are you saying that in the end, Malira saved Gallant? That's correct. When she was defeated, Malira realized that dark magic wasn't the most powerful or only kind of magic. And was he knighted for defeating the evil witch? No, no, my dear. He didn't need tributes or minstrel ballads. He didn't ask for mercy or favors because of his errors. His laziness had been his undoing, hope his guide, and his shield his brother. But time was all he yearned for. A little slice of life. A life to smile, rejoice, and share the happiness he now possessed. Galland had proven that his heart was indeed pure. But was he able to recover the time he had lost? <laughs> What do you think, Effie?